Well, we are now joined by Sangeeta Iyer, filmmaker, biologist, author of Gods and Shackles, What Elephants Can Teach Us About Empathy, Resilience, and Freedom. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Good morning. Nice to be with you. It is good to have you. So tell me about that, that visit, that visit that really opened your eyes to the brutal treatment of elephants. Well, elephants are considered to be the embodiment of Lord Ganesh, the Hindu god with an elephant face. And during my visit to some of the temples in the southern Indian state of Kerala, I discovered that these sacred animals are being exploited for profit behind the insidious veil of culture and religion. Mm -hmm. There were blind elephants. There were elephants that were wounded, ghastly wounds bleeding out of their ankles. And I thought to myself, I had to expose the atrocities. One particular elephant called Lakshmi, she literally stole my heart. She is the poster child of the suffering of these elephants. And, you know, as a videographer, I just, you know, voraciously filmed everything, grabbed about 25 hours of footage. And I thought to myself, what am I going to do with this? Mm -hmm. And then I came back and Bill Hutchison, who used to be at CTV before, he guided me yeah. and I produced this film called Gods and Shackles documentary. And it was nominated at the United Nations and has won some awards. Mm -hmm. But I use all of that as a pulpit to expose their atrocities against the against the elephants. And when we talk about elephants and their mannerisms, their empathy, they're highly intelligent, they're social animals who live in these tight uh, knit communities like humans do. What effect does this treatment have on them? They suffer from incredible post-traumatic stress disorder. What happens is in the wild, they wander across vast areas for hours on end and they socialize with their own kind. And like you said, you know, they bond with their families and their brain size is three times as large as human brain. Their prefrontal cortex that is situated, the seat of the consciousness is so highly evolved that, you know, they get completely traumatized being ripped apart from their families Kids as young as like two to three years old, babies are taken away from their moms and they're brutalized and forced to perform in circuses, held in zoos and participate in all these festivals. And they are traumatized. They suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. How do you, how do you know things like that? Like what sort of research is out there that uh, tells you that? Oh, there are so many um, science available, scientific research available, Elephant Voices, one incredible organization. They have been doing a lot of research, and it's been only the past 10 uh, years that a lot more research on elephants have been coming out. There are There's a, um, a scientist called Dr. Bob Jacobs. He per focuses particularly on the elephant brain, on the highly evolved brains, and how these kinds of captivity uh, traumatizes mm -hmm. uh, the elephants. So Sangeeta, what sort of, it sounds like they're not, there's not much regulation in place. What is there to protect this species? Well, there are regulations, but regulations are not being enforced as well as they should. And this is why, you know, nonprofit organizations like ours, we come to play and, you know, we educate and empower people. And so, uh, you know, I produced this book also called Gods and Shackles, What Elephants Can Teach Us About Empathy, Resilience and Freedom. These are the ways that we are educating and empowering people because there's a significant dearth of knowledge, even when it comes to policy and decision making. And so this is where I think that, you know, there are a lot of um, uh, legal aspects available, but they're not being enforced. And so we come into play and we are empowering local people. We are organizing a lot of projects on the ground, like stopping, you know, electrocuting elephants and installing elephant friendly fencing, flashlights, all these basic things that we take for granted. My organization called Voice for Asian Elephant Society is on the ground working with the policymakers, working with the decision makers and literally empowering them, sharing this knowledge. As I said, knowledge is very new right now, just 10 years old. And so a lot of education is required. So these kind of interviews are just really, really appreciated because, you know, the public needs to be aware of what elephants go through when they are held in captivity. And that certainly is the first step to have these conversations, to be aware, to pick up your book, because there's an element of this book, too. If somebody's looking at home going, well, what can I do? I'm sitting in my living room in Canada somewhere. How can I help? Well, you illustrate that with, with the book, through the words, and through the profit made from this book. I'm going to explain that in a second. Sangeeta, thank you.
Thank you very Thank much. You nice so to meet you. So gods Thank and shackles. Yes. yes. What elephants can teach us about empathy, resilience, and freedom. It is now available. What I was referring to was that 50% of Sangeeta's proceeds from the sale of this book will be donated to the Voice for Asian Elephants Society. Sangeeta, thanks.